Hey folks, welcome to another week of our Unreal Engine News and Community Spotlight. Setting out to top his 2016 show, Childish Gambino revitalized the Ferris experience last November, this time with a fully interactive real-time system powered by Unreal Engine. The 2018 experience, which combined custom lighting, smoke, a laser show, and a mesmerizing visual experience projected onto the dome's interior in real time, not only blew away fans, but won the team a prestigious VES award for outstanding visual effects in a special venue project in February 2019. Watch the full project spotlight to see how engineers from 2N, Weta Digital, NVIDIA, and Epic brought this incredible project to life. Unreal Fest Europe is coming up fast on April 10th through 12th in Prague, and we've just released the speaker lineup and session descriptions on the Unreal Fest conference page. A few of the fabulous speakers you'll see at the fest come from Wardrum, Ninja Theory, and Rare, in addition to Epic, of course. And the conference pass includes access to all sessions, lunch and refreshments, invitations to parties and events before and during the conference, and of course, awesome Unreal swag. Be sure to sign up today. On March 7th, we announced the winners of our 2019 Winter UE4 Jam. Our team had a great time playing the over 120 games themed by All's Fair in Love and War. You can watch our announcement video to see us playing through the games, who took, who took home generous prizes from our sponsors, including Intel and Falcon Northwest, or you can head over to the official Itch.io Winter UE Fan page to start rescuing Princess, fighting to stay in bed, jousting for all the glory, or be a cat yourself. Third-year graduate student Nick Belliard at How West in the Digital Arts and Entertainment program guest wrote a piece on how to translate a 2D graphic novel into an interactive 3D experience with techniques that involve shading, geometry, composition, lighting, mood, and more. The primary focus was on recreating the atmosphere and setting from a comic strip, which then could be applied to multiple environments. Read the full breakdown on Black Sad, his short, immersive game created in UE4. Jumping to our weekly Karma earners, we'd like to give a shout out to Every Nun, Shadow River, Crawley Kane, Ikav, Nebula Games Inc., T. Sumisaki, LO44, Indie Game Cove, Dr. Cannon, and Timson, Thompson in 13. Many thanks to these folks for spending their extra hours helping fellow devs on Answer Hub join in, and you could hear your name up here too. Onto our incredible community spotlights. First on our list today is David Bayliss's beautiful Archviz winter cabin scene. Inspired by a real life cabin by Wound Pioneers, David's recreation of the quaint cabin is impressive and even better, he's put together a write up on 80 level to walk through his process and share his design choices with you. Thanks, David. Next up is Let's Do Vorta VR. In this free-to-play title, you are trapped in a strange, shattered world lost in fog, taking a trip down memory lane. The past not only hides memories of your relationship between you and your brother, but also suppressed memories that may have led to his death. Face your deepest fears in this built-for-VR adventure. And our final spotlight this week is a haunting visit to Chernobyl. The distiller has shared the experience of three scientists visiting the abandoned site just a few years after the disaster. Thanks for joining us for our news and community spotlight.
Hey folks, to welcome to your weekly Unreal Engine live stream. I'm your host, Amanda Bott, and with me we have Tim Slager, Community Manager. Um, we're, we're having also some... also Community Manager. Yeah, yeah. me too. <laughs> so we're having a little bit of uh, technical difficulties with Andreas, so hopefully he'll be joining us. Um, if not, we'll keep on carrying on and... I'll pretend to be Andreas. You'll pretend I'll, to I'll be? I'll get a hat. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, we'll do that. Um, but yeah, so... We're excited for GDC 2019. It is already March, folks. It's, you know, somehow, somehow we've made it this far. Yeah, oh, it, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so this is, uh, it's funny though, as I think back to last year, this would be, what it were, this would have been my third day at Epic. Fourth? Yeah, fourth day. No, because it was, mon this week's Tuesday was last year's Monday. Oh, well, I see. Yeah, so. You mean date-wise. Right, but like date -wise. so in calendar or in, in week-wise, yeah. So you would you would have left yesterday yep. to, to go to the train <laughs> jam, which Victor left yesterday yeah. to go to the train jam. And then tomorrow, everybody else on our team would mm -hmm. have left for, for GDC. And then next week, it was just me in the office. Yep. And that was like, hey, Crickets. welcome to Epic. Um, go! No, so if... It's obviously, I would assume anyone watching this at this point is not on the train. Or, or <laughs> hire everybody on the train, <laughs> right. One of the two. Um, Those are our options here. But it's really cool. You know, Victor's out there. He's uh, interacting with the teams, working on jams. And it's it's a 52-hour adventure from right. Chicago to San Francisco. But I do encourage you at the end of the event to go see all the games that they've made. Um, they usually have a really cool station out at GDC right. where... Um, they put all the game jams up, and uh, you can play them and try them out and see what people have made yeah, in the middle of nowhere America <laughs> over the last are couple there days. Showers on those trains? Yes. Okay. Good. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That like that, that's, it's yes. important. <laughs> um, and they retrofit the train though, right? It's a completely unique train. Oh, it's it's a unique configuration. Right. So it's so like they get some the bounce houses of, somewhere like uh, right behind the engine. Yeah. <laughs> observation cars and things like that. So. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, so we should be expecting some stuff from Victor on on social media. So we'll we'll share that out as that comes in. Uh, but yeah, if you're if you're going to be out at GDC, uh, make sure you check out check out the awesome stuff that that's coming out of, yeah. of the train jam. I know Victor put a lot of work in, you know, in just preparation to make sure he, he had everything to help service the the jammers with mm -hmm. with Unreal Engine content. So um, and we also have these really cool sleep masks. Oh, that yeah. we we put them in our vlog. Uh, so you know, people need the trains are no, noisy, right? And mm -hmm. there's a lot of light, and so get get your Unreal Engine. Yes, yeah, uh, you can hunt mask. down somebody that yeah. was part of the jam, and you want to take their. Take their it has like two UE. Yeah, it's all we have. <laughs> it's, uh, if you want to see a picture, yeah. go to the blog. They're on the blog, but so no, we're excited. GDC is always one of our. Um, Biggest shows it's of the year. It's our big, it is. Is the biggest show yeah. of the year. It's uh, really, it's a labor of love from many, many people. Obviously, the whole industry. It's it's a great place to come together if you're an indie dev running around. I know tons of people are showing off their games. They've got their laptops, and it's like, how many different devs can I talk to? Um, but for us, I, you know, we do have on Tuesday an education summit. It is completely sold out right. at this point. I know there is a an extensive waiting list if you're still hoping and you want to <laughs> hope for the opportunity to to get there you can message in and and we can try and put you on a wait list but we'll not make any promises at this point and then on uh wednesdays wednesday's wednesday. always our big day wednesday it's the state of unreal so this is our uh annual open uh opening session so that's Wednesday at 9.30 Pacific time. And it's very much a first come, first serve. You know, uh, definitely get to your bread Buena. It's a really amazing talk. They, they've they got a lot of cool stuff lined up. Um, it will be live streamed. So if you're not out at the show, you can, you'll be able to see it on our typical channels, whether it's Twitch and YouTube and Facebook. Right. Um, and, and we'll be posting stuff on social yeah, media. Yeah, that'll go know, up hey, later is, that day. Yeah. So if you don't get to watch it live, definitely be sure to yeah. watch We're gonna it. We're going to try and get it up as quickly as possible. You know, um, after the show. So, yeah. but you know, there's cool. always amazing announcements and things from Tim Sweeney. I know um, Kim Liberi and a number of special guests. Yeah. So 
it's yeah, the, a really, the, really cool the opportunity. The schedule for this year is really cool. Like, I'm, I'm super excited to, to see everything actually finally, like, make its way out. Right. And so, <laughs> like, uh, when Amanda said that everyone's been working hard, it's... It's insane. Like when I got here last year, I, everyone was like, "We've been." It's just everyone's been putting in a ton of hours for GDC, and you don't really, you can't, you can't, you can't quantify that because you just walked in the door, and it's like we're leaving at six or seven o'clock. But then now a year later, I'm like, man, I remember where I live. I don't know that I've seen it, <laughs> but I've, I've, I, I know what my address is. And yeah. It's just oh so God, the number, the place I like. just the amount of hours, just the amount of work that goes into something like this. Uh, and it's everybody. It's not. Yeah, it's, it's not a just unique to Epic. Oh, yeah, thing. absolutely. It's no, this industry is, wide. Like the the love and the passion and the care that people put in for this kind of a show is just it's incredible. And mm -hmm. it's and it's super. I'm super humble to be a part of it. It's just. Yeah, it's it's going to be so awesome to see. We've already been hearing a lot of really pe cool people who are super excited to come by the booth and uh and and just have that experience and and so if you guys are out there, man, please come hang out with us. Like, be a good time. We'll have we'll, tons of fun. We have. I, I You're getting ahead of yourself. I Hold am on. a little bit. A little <laughs> um, bit. So excited. after the state of Unreal, we'll be moving on to our tech talks from Yerba Buena. So those will be streamed all day. So you can, we've announced them if you want further descriptions. If you're wanting to stay tuned with all the stuff going on at GDC, if you go to unrealengine.com slash GDC 2019, um, you can sign up for emails that will be going on. Um, about the event or like reminders about all the cool stuff um, and it'll give you additional updates that'll be available but yeah here these are our big talks um, throughout the day again these are in your Buena, which are right across the street it's all free you don't have to register but it is a like yeah first there's come, limited first space in, yeah in the capacity that it is but um, we'll start when when the stream goes live on Wednesday morning. If you can't be there, mm -hmm. uh, we'll be streaming basically until the end of the day. All day. All day, the whole day. And then if you're hanging out in the booth, we'll actually be streaming at least the keynote. Yeah, the keynote the will be streamed in the booth. Um, I don't believe the tech talks right. will be, but yeah, as you saw, there is um, you know a number of talks on destruction and upcoming ray tracing. So this is a really good chance to see like what's going to be coming out in Unreal Engine this year as far as like our features, not only what's going to be available in 422, and hopefully you've been playing with the previews and have a pretty good feel for what's already coming out, but then um, even things later into the year. And um, we've been working with some incredible partners and can't, can't wait for you all to see all that stuff. It's, it's super exciting. And then, so in addition to Yerba Buena, and all the magic happening across the street. <laughs> yep, this is That's magic. How we cast magic. Woo! <laughs> oh. oh. Do we have a surprise special a... guest? But wait. Uh, this just in. It's <laughs> 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 Jason, you may not have been able to hear him, but he was making the like do 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 yeah. do do do. Uh, the baby shark. Uh, do 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 do. And I can. I can. <gasps> It's there almost an Andreas. Oh, here he is. is. He made it, everyone. Ta-da. Oh, my God. Hello. Are here? <laughs> well, we can hear. We oh. see you. Oh. Man, you were still, He's still for a while. That was, that was impressive. A wild Andreas appeared. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome okay. to the live yes. stream. <laughs> I made it over the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> so. You had a short flight from, uh, from Germany. That's all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Through the cables. Well, welcome Beneath to the stream. Ocean. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Wow. Well, Hello. would you like to briefly introduce yourself <laughs> now that we're... Hello, my name is Andreas, <laughs> <laughs> and I got lost in the internet. <laughs> I'm an Unreal Engine evangelist, and I'm happy to be here a bit late to the show. Germans <laughs> are really punctual, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're only like 10 minutes yeah, late. That's just time. a rumor. It's not true. <laughs> <laughs> but you've, you've recently joined our team, right? About a month ago? Yes. And so it's a little bit more than a month. So uh, I'm here and delight to talk, tell everything about evangelism. I don't know yet. So that's <laughs> <good>. <laughs> Perfect. No, I remember we met at uh, the Indie Arena booth last year at uh, Game. Oh, yeah, that's right. And so yeah, that's you the, that was last year. You want to tell them a little bit about your background? You've obviously been involved in uh, game development and the, the scene supporting other indie developers for a long time. So sure. Uh, I'm making games since 20 years, and I started at Ubisoft as a tester, and then over the time became creative director doing strategy games mainly there. Maybe not so well known in the US like Settlers or Anno, 
Um, and um, then I did different things afterwards. I founded a mobile games company. I, uh, and the last thing I did is uh, running the Indie Arena booth. And before that, um, I was working uh, on an own game called, Un uh, called The Long Journey Home, which was an Unreal game. And that's where I was in contact with Epic quite a lot. Yeah, all the cool things. So I feel like you yeah, arrived. It's really fun. So my heart is a little bit with, uh, <laughs> with making great games on all different kind of sizes. So if it's big or small or whatever. All the games. Just make games. Yeah. Just that's, that's <laughs> the thing is just all the games. You see, we, we made this we made this cool stickers for the Indie Arena, but I just have them left, so I put <laughs> them there. So it's not uh, we just discussed before. It would be nice to have this uh, how to say it in English vinyl. Uh, Old Shellac, oh, the, where we a put, record, put Unreal record on. player, yeah. yeah, 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 like vinyl, vinyl. Yeah. We, we figured out that it was four hundred and some odd megs on a vinyl. Yeah, so we can we can start shipping Unreal Engine on vinyl. Yeah, no. sure. No, yeah. Not... How many do we need then? I don't know. A lot. <laughs> Let's not worry this about it. It's a really that. cool giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really cool giveaway on the show. Like, okay, here's a new version. <laughs> Have fun. Uh, but yeah, no. So like. Um, Super happy, glad you were able to make it yeah. in and we sorted that out, but um, this is a good segue into, so a lot of our presence, um, obviously at the show, it's very much about the state of Unreal and a lot of tech talks and trying to get this new exciting information out to everyone, but we're also on the show floor. So we're back with both booths. So we have our business booth yeah. Um, where a lot of meetings, there will be demo pods, so you can see the latest and greatest on Unreal Engine, a lot of um, unique demos that you can check out. Um, but then we're also bringing back our developer booth. So we're going to be celebrating dozens of developers. I know we la we announced... I think we've announced all of them at this point. I don't know if it's I'm gonna go double all check, of them. But but we, have, we have a good um, number on our... There's a blog out. Yeah, we'll have over... 25 developers in right. our booth um, and some really, really great, unique titles. And it's a, it's a nice oh, range I'm of things. I'm looking forward to them. It's yeah. really, you know, it's great. I, I was uh, working as a game scout before for a publisher and actually I was in contact with some of them and saw early versions and I'm really, really excited to go to GDC next week and, <laughs> and see yeah. them and on see our them? booth yeah. and pl play what, 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 uh, what, uh, how they are now. It's really, really cool. Yeah, I mean, we're looking at the titles like Close this. to the Sun, for example. <gasps> that game I quite a long looks time. amazing. I played it a little bit at Gamescom, and it's it ha it's eerie. It's very Art Deco. It, it gives me a similar feel to like Bioshock yeah. and that sort of universe. Yeah. And it is haunting and creepy. I remember I'm like sneaking sneaking around. It's sort of this horror esque game. Yeah, I'm like nope. something's yeah. gonna jump I, out at me, and I, I, I but I gotta go save the, company, the people. <laughs> and Storm in a teacup. That's just a cool. Yeah, um, it's a great game. We're looking at. I don't like horror. We're bringing. Horror. Um, They're Gwen. from Italy. Gwen. Really Gwen. nice guys. Yeah, great yeah. team. Um, Gwen is gonna be there with, with Kine. Kine. Yeah. Um, she's awesome. She, if you didn't watch her stream with her, she's a solo dev. Um, came from. Um, an animation background. She worked, she worked on, on, on Bioshock Infinite, right? She worked on uh, The Flame and the Flood. Yeah. With the molasses. So her titles, yeah. and then. Um, oh, oh, I love that. Yeah. I, yeah. Oh, I loved that one. Uh, I'm really two, excited about Trevor years, Saves the Universe. Ago, I sorry, there's a bit of a delay. Sorry. sorry. You said two or three years ago. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I uh, I saw a really good talk about Rook like and. Uh, uh, the, the technician of them, uh, the CTO, made a really good talk about procedurally generating a river. That was a really, really nice talk. Oh, I remember that. Nice. Yeah. The, the soundtrack to that game was amazing. Industry of Titan is also a game I'm really looking forward to. Have yeah, you seen that? Industries of Titan? Uh, I, I watched it. I was looking at it the other day. I haven't seen uh, much on it. But, I mean, there's just so many. I'm, I'm going through the blog. There's just yeah. so many different games from... In our booth. Yeah, there's the Industry of Titans, Jump Force, yeah. Last Oasis. Uh, we Last Oasis. Kingdom Hearts 3. Kingdom Hearts 3. Mutant Year Zero. Oh, Great uh, team. Yeah. Bearded Ladies. Bearded Ladies are Good awesome. Good yep. if you haven't met them. Yep. <laughs> uh, Spellbreak, which is that uh, unique twist on magical Battle Royale games. Mm -hmm. um, Sojourn. Yeah, you, uh, Sojourn. You saw those folks at, uh, at Oh, Game yeah, they are in the Indie Arena booth last yep. year. So. Uh, and then the one that I'm really looking forward to is, is Trevor Saves the World, just because... Or Troll Saves the World. It just 
Saves the universe. I can talk today. It's, I believe you. It, you should. I'm <laughs> lying to you. Trover Saves the Universe <laughs> is the name. Um, it looks just really funny. It looks cute. and uh, So, yeah, just a ton of really, really cool teams, cool projects uh, that people come by and, and play. I don't know that there's a queue system. Is it just oh, yeah, you just walk, walk up to up? the kiosks as, as long as there's yeah. room. So, yeah, if you're at the show, definitely stop by the booth. We're going to be serving... More beer and popcorn, and I think there's cookies again. <laughs> well, about the popcorn. <laughs> but then, uh, yeah, it's a great time. It's it's really cool to be to have the opportunity to celebrate all these developers and and get to see other developers come over and play their games and experience them and watch them sort of you know experience this right. this GDC experience where all these folks are coming in and and um, I don't know it's it's a great like bonding experience I feel like for all these developers it's like come yeah. in we all have our like passion projects and here we are celebrating what we can do having never been to GDC I can uh, but having been to other conventions where it's more on the consumer side of things where mm -hmm. it's like let's celebrate the games uh, where you have a lot of players coming up and being able to talk about it there's a definitely a it's I feel like it's going to be a different experience with yeah. uh, just celebrating it's celebrating the craft it's celebrating the art of game development and mm -hmm. And just the the passion that people put into it, and it's I'm really excited to watch people just uh, be able to, to talk about their games in in a way that's like because for some people it may be the first or you know very very yeah. early in their discussions about their games uh, or their or their projects mm -hmm. uh, you know not not just reserved to, to games necessarily but seeing those those first conversations kind of happen especially within you know our our, our party booth would be really <laughs> cool so um, but that's. For anyone at the show, that's where you can generally find us. So not only are we going to be, you know, exploring the floor, trying to see all the amazing games that have been brought to the show, but that's where we'll spend our time. That's kind of our home base. So if you have questions about UE4 or um, any aspect of whether it's related to community or marketplace or those things, our team will be there. Um, our evangelism team will be there. Uh, I feel like this would be a good opportunity um, where our team has grown significantly, um, which is awesome. Yeah. So, Andreas, would you like to kind of talk about some of the changes going on with our evangelism team and, and let folks oh, yeah, know sure. who to look out for at the show? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so this year we will be with a lot of people. So actually, <laughs> um, uh, in the past they were they were mainly steered for, from Europe. He, he was doing whole Europe, and now um, we are happy that we we have some more people because uh, I, I saw his list of, of <laughs> uh, events and uh, and uh, uh, trips he made. This is totally insane. We have in Europe we have a really dense uh, um, scene. So it's maybe a little bit different to the US. So Europe is pretty small, but we have a high number of uh, of developers here and really diverse and really different culture. So uh, Sjord is actually leading the European group. He has 20 years of experience and his background is level design and tech and art and script. And most of the community already knows him, at least in our part here. When I traveled with him, it was uh, astonishing to see people thank him for his educational talks he gave, etc. So he really helped a lot uh, starting uh, companies or starting making games. He made his own game, uh, the Zoyos uh, project, um, and uh, he worked on big things. So he's uh, uh, he, he is quite. He, I think he's he's one of the most experienced, or not even the experienced. Uh, um, evangelists we have um, yeah. and then the next one is uh, uh, I can mention is uh, Chris Murphy is actually one of the guys I met pretty early on I think uh, at Gamescom or something like that uh, mm -hmm. he's really funny guy he's, he's doing <laughs> aus uh, uh, um, Australia um, Asian region um, you have to follow him on Twitter. He's currently he's on a, a tip and tricks uh, a spree, so he's he's uh, bringing a lot of tips and tricks right now. Which is uh, there's a lot of stuff actually I didn't know, so it's really really cool. Yeah, he's been yeah, compiling. He's I know, like he's getting ready for a presentation and has been yeah, compiling yeah, a bunch <laughs> of tricks and things. And so it's, it's really funny. It's We're a great currently resource. preparing a presentation about 100 tricks we want to do in un, uh, European Unreal Fest, and he's actually preparing that a little bit. So he's spoiler. <laughs> he's spoiling a lot. 
<laughs> a little so, bit. Uh, but yeah, if yeah. you're in the, again, his Australia, New Zealand, Southeast Asia, definitely he's your kind of contact for right. um, getting in or if you have questions or good support. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's actually true for all of us. So you can right. contact all of us, but we have regions where we where we know best. But we can actually help you getting the right contact if you uh, feel comfortable with. If you meet us at the show, feel free to 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 ask uh, anything. So and then we have uh, Paolo. Uh, he's uh, South uh, Af uh, South America, <laughs> South mm -hmm. Africa. He's South America. <laughs> South he's America. South America mainly. Um, so do we have a picture of him? Yep. Um, he also, uh, I think he also started several. Uh, um, I, I mean, that's that's kind of unusual for me. So I'm the I'm the junior here, <laughs> introducing <laughs> the, 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 the. You're the, introducing all really fun because I, our veterans. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, and actually, I had to make some research, which was kind of fun <laughs> to to figure some stuff out. Um, yeah. Uh, and he is really funny. He's just wrote me in this moment. I, I asked him to have some personal stuff I can maybe mention. He's just say, telling me that he's in the plane to GDC now. Oh, oh. <laughs> just yeah. in the second. A lot of people are starting to make their move, so <laughs> they're under yeah. route. So 50 years of experience and he was working in business, technical and production. And with him is a very good example for all of us. We are like um, we were in different fields, so none of us were like like super specific and things. We are all we were all over the place. Um, so that's Paolo. Uh, so meet him if you are from South America. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have uh, Mario. And uh, Mario also recently joined together with me a little bit uh, before. I think he joined in November or something like that. Um, he is a former programmer, gameplay programmer, lead programmer, technical artist, and he worked on Rhyme from Tequila Works. Um, yeah, so uh, he's coming with me. He's actually flying with me. We're flying on Saturday. Uh, we have the same plane. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, really, really nice guy. So when you are Southern Europe, like France, um, uh, Spain, uh, Portugal, uh, uh, etc., Italy, um, this is your guy. Uh, and then we have uh, also recently joined uh, Joseph. Uh, he is covering Middle East, uh, North Africa, Turkey. Uh, he's also running a, a Lebanon game dev uh, a community. He's a really, really nice guy. Uh, he's really funny. Uh, he, uh, he's an experienced traveler. So when you, you see him a lot running around, making a lot of pictures uh, with people, I think he's gathering pictures him with all unreal people ever. So <laughs> each time when we travel with him, <laughs> he's making pictures. He's nice. So if Someday you, I'll have a mas uh, massive collage of him in every yeah, yeah, yeah. UE4 he dev ever. That. And it'll make the UE4 logo. Oh, perfect. Any yeah. pictures? We'll work on that. We need that. <laughs> OK, then we talked about me already. So I do in Western Europe. So uh, <laughs> my accent gives it away. So I'm actually uh, from, uh, from Germany. Um, but I do Netherlands, Belgium. A little bit UK, um, Austria, Swiss, um, so uh, all the Western regions. We talked about me, so we can skip that. Then we have uh, uh, Christian Allen. Mm -hmm. He's uh, North America. I'm really looking forward to. I will meet him the first time, and it's really funny because we were at Ubisoft at the same time. He was creative director on. Oh. Um, yeah. Uh, he was creative director on uh, Tom Clancy's One War Fight, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, and he worked on Halo Reach, but when he was at Ubisoft, it was the same time as me. So I'm, <laughs> I think it might happen that we already met and I just forgot. <laughs> um, that would be interesting. Because you'll find so out for certain uh, later. <laughs> <laughs> so he's, uh, he's doing North America. He's uh, located in Seattle. Yeah. Um, he's also into uh, game publications. So he, he wrote some development essays, uh, etc. So I'm... This is one of the guys i am not met yet. And then we have another one. So this is really funny. Ellen, uh, Ellen just joined after me, but he's a veteran. Uh, yeah, well, he's Epic, returning. So he was with Epic yeah. Before. yeah, so maybe you can say more about him. The thing I found out is that he also made games for coin-operated arcade games. So I have to ask him about that. Um, oh, so yeah. what, uh, I know he's currently very, very busy because some of us, Chris, actually, Seward, and Ellen, are also um, showing, ha having a small talks and giving tech talks on the booth. And I know Ellen is working on one. Yes. Um, and I think he's in the chat, if I saw it right. 
Ellen, yeah, you're in the chat, he's right? He's spying on us a little bit, but <laughs> no, out. he's Hang he's out. recently returned. Yeah. Um, he was with Epic a few years ago, and then uh, previously, yeah, 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 and Something. then um, spent some time at, at Magic Leap, and now he's returned as a an evangelist on our team. We're excited to have him back. Um, just a wealth of information regarding um, Unreal Engine development, and uh, going to help expand the team here in. North America, hopefully, and yeah. so that way we can help all the people, all the UE4 devs. So we're excited so to have Ellen, him back. I hope I did good. I hope it was okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so this this is the uh, people who are at the GDC. We have two more who are not coming this year. Uh, one is uh, Christoph, or we call him Dalton because his name, if you if you see it in the <laughs> next slide, it's kind of difficult. <laughs> I want to try uh, it now. Christoph. <laughs> uh, his last name. Uh, actually, it's Christoph, so it's easier Ashton to pronounce than to write. Pakaluski. Pachulski. Pachulski. I was getting there. But yeah. Uh, yeah, so I met him last year, which is really it's it's fun seeing people that we've interfaced with like come into the fold and, right. and join our team. Um, really excited to have uh, it's pronounced Dalton um, join us again. He won't be at the show, but he's taking care of Eastern Europe. Uh, so if you're in Eastern Europe, definitely look out for him. Yeah, we just didn't want to leave these folks out. And then uh, Christian also will not be at uh, GDC, but handles much as much of South America with um, yeah. Paula. They're always so busy too. There's just, mm -hmm. which is great. It's it's fantastic to see them get out and, and be able to interact with some of the developers. And um, you know, Christian just yeah, did his south uh, south east tour tour in, in in America and got around to see some really cool stuff and. Uh, it's just it's just it's it's fantastic to see what you know all these folks are doing and actually that was my first interaction uh, outside of interviewing and such was with Christian actually at a at a meetup in Houston, so nice. was, uh, yeah that was that was that was then so but yeah so we're gonna have these folks uh, most of the folks at the the GDC booth hanging out with us talking they'll be making their rounds like Amanda had said um, they'll be available to, to have conversations and. and Shake hands, m put a face to a name, uh, make contacts, ask some questions. Uh, and yeah. So we're really looking forward to having. We're a resource yeah. for you, and so yep. if you can find us, obviously, there's such and value it's good in building. That we are so many. I can say that we this today we scheduled the 100th meeting only with a European group. So I even don't know Ellen and uh, Christian uh, how their schedule looks like. But for the <laughs> European oh, wow. group, I know that we are over 100 meetings scheduled. That's wild. Uh, and yeah. Yeah, it's really, really crazy. Uh, but we're trying to be around the booth. Um, so mm -hmm. it's good that we are so many, so we can split a bit. And we are really, really right. looking forward. So if you have any game you just started or want to talk about tech stuff or how things are working with, um, with everything we announced, which we are not allowed to say yet, <laughs> so right. then we, we will be there for you. But we're excited to talk about it at the show with you. Um, and yeah, it's just great to touch base with us. And if you can't... Um, you know, you don't don't feel obligated to find the person in your region. If you can't find them at the show, we'll always be happy to right. put you in touch with the correct person. But this is how you know this fleet of fleet of people is here for you, and we want you to be able to feel comfortable coming and talk to and talking to us and uh, sharing in the adventure that is GDC, because there's always a lot going on and a lot to experience. So. Um. Oh, it's a lot. It's always, <laughs> it's so much that actually I, I just gave a, a, a little workshop here in my area for some German guys who are going the first time and even pitching their games. Um, it's really cool. Germany is sending, for my area, three games. Two of them are Unreal. Um, so we prepared them a bit uh, and it was the first slide of the workshop was like, okay, go with the flow. <laughs> Don't get stressed. You cannot do all you want. So at the, no. at the evening, you have the feeling you you you, you missed something that's normal. Uh, so go <laughs> with the flow. The universe puts you in the right spot where well, you have to be. I feel so like so like many that. people go with these elaborate schedules of like, okay, I'm going to go from this talk to this talk to this booth. This is my time on the floor. I'm going to go to this party. And then once you get in it, you just be open to opportunities that arise. You know, like if one of our team is like, hey, come to dinner with us. You know, take that opportunity. Yeah. Like you just have to... Go with the flow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let the waves. I can say that one of the 
of the worst GDCs I did is the first one I did completely by myself. I totally overbooked myself and I was like super strict. Uh, so <laughs> I flew back and had the feeling it wasn't good. And next year I only booked something like 50% of my time and the rest is like, okay, let's see what's happening. And that was the best one. So um, I think it's important to get the feeling. I think, but if you go as a developer, it's also super important to know a goal, to have a goal, to know what you are there for. So go with the flow is good on one side, but as the other side, especially when you do really business, well, that's um, it's important that you have a clear vision what you want to achieve there, because otherwise it's so much and everybody's like, you can do this and this and this, and then you get lost <laughs> in, a, in a bad way. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and then something I, I wanted to touch on. So, you know, we've just mentioned these are all your evangelism teams. Um, but these folks are also giving a lot of tech talks at our lunar learning theater at the booth. So we do have a schedule. Those will be running Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. This is just a preview of Wednesday, Wednesday's schedule. Um, so we'll have information about destruction. Um, Sam Badger's going to go over action RPG. We'll have animations, um, ray discussing ray tracing, and then building some effects, uh, I feel like, with Niagara Blueprint. So those are right. cool. And these happen multiple times in the day. So if you can't, if you can't get to <laughs> chaos at 1030, then come back at 3.30. Yeah, there's then. a chance later. Um, we'll also right. be recording all of these sessions. Right. Um, I don't know. I can say it, um, it the ray later, tracing run from Stuart I, uh, I saw today. Um, so he, he rehearsed this with me, and I'm, oh, it's really, really, really cool. <laughs> my <laughs> God. I, actually, when I come back from GDC, I have to change my rig here. I need a new graphics card. And I <laughs> so like, it was oh, really, I really cool. <laughs> So uh, yeah. there's a lot of really cool and he's things nailing the point. So, with with um, in the evangelism team, most of us have done games. So it's not just like we used the tag. So we really shipped games, and I think that sometimes makes a difference when you when you make a tech talk like that. Stuart knows not about oh let's do crazy ray tracing stuff. It's also bring it into perspective. Like okay, what does it mean for a game you do in the next half year? And and it's really hands on and and learning something from that. Right. Yeah, there's there's uh, there's a lot to a lot to learn and a lot to a lot to pull in. As Amanda said, we'll be recording those sessions, uh, and so those will probably come out later later in GDC or uh, sorry, rather post GDC. Mm -hmm. um, so just make sure you keep an eye out on our social media channels and on our blog for uh, any information on on when those will hit, because mm -hmm. um, we definitely want to make sure that everyone gets a chance to to consume this content. And like like uh, like you said, people have been putting in a ton of work and a ton of Trying to make sure that these are just a uh, really short up, and I'm excited. To, I want to. I want to be able to watch them all, but I don't know that I'll have the time to. Well, you can watch them all. I can like, ask yeah, the I can chat who's going. I we would can. like to know from the chat who's going, and I also would be really interested where the people are located that are currently watching. This is really. I'm <laughs> basically mainly looking on on Twitch, so I I don't have YouTube open, but it would be interesting to see where they're from and who's going to GDC, who we can meet. Lots of folks. Lots of folks will be there. Um, but while you're responding and, and finding out if you would like to let <laughs> Andreas know where you're from, um, some of our other talks. So in addition to the tech talks in the learning theater, um, there will be a session about the Epic Game Store. So they're giving an update um, and doing a Q&A session regarding that. We also have a number of our devs going around and partaking in um, other sessions, not Epic sponsored specifically. Um, Chris Rando is going to be talking about preventing bugs. We'll also have uh, Wyeth Johnson's joining a number of um, killer, killer portfolio or portfolio killer. It's doing reviews of portfolios, um, and then yeah, a number of uh, things with Intel scalability for all. Um, I'm talking about bringing Fortnite to mobile with Vulkan and OpenGL, and then Ryan Brex is doing his technical artist boot camp talk on distance field and shader simulation. So if you can get to those, um, Epic's in a lot of different places. So definitely if you can get to the show, yeah, uh, nice. check out those avenues for more information about Unreal. So, And we recruit, right? I don't know that those will be. Those are not um, official. They're not Epic owned talks. So right. I don't know. They may be going into the GDC vault or things like that. Right. But I, I know we'll have some. I just don't know what their what what that that team looks like. So yeah. Um, 
but make sure you stop by and, and shake hands and say hi and try and get into these talks as they can. And I know they, they book up quickly. Like yeah. they fill up really quick. So uh, if if you have intentions and, and machinations to go to some of these, make sure you get in get in line early or get get ahead of time. Uh, wake up early. <laughs> uh, but one thing we haven't really announced yet, and I, it's a good time to do this, since we're talking about people at the booth. Yep. It's a good time to do this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, this year we're we're really excited to bring out four um, four members of the Unreal Engine community with us to join us at the at our booth. So they'll be hanging out with us uh, over the course of the three days at the Expo booth. So we have um, just some really talented people, members of the Marketplace community, uh, members of the Meetup group. Um, Naveed, I don't know his, I can't say his last Ekbon? name. Ekbon run, he's so a, he's the co-organizer of the London Meetup group. Um, yeah, we've tried to bring a handful of folks that have been involved in our community um, to spend time and kind of talk Talk about what it's like being a part of right. the Unreal Engine community from the outside. Right. We and can talk about what it's like to work here. Right. But that, <laughs> but that experience isn't necessarily the same as what it is to, to be involved from the outside. And, and so these folks have, have graciously donated their time to come and hang out and, and have a, you know, share, share their stuff, share what they do. Uh, I mean, the, the, ask them questions if you want to get involved in, in a meetup group or if you want to um, be a, a marketplace seller. So we have... Uh, Decagon, who's a really big uh, seller on the marketplace. We have uh, Abby Miranda and we have Jacob Norris, who will also all be joining mm -hmm. us. And we'll be putting out uh, a post on them here uh, a little bit later. Uh, but we're super thrilled to have them come out. And so they'll be, they'll be in the booth with us mm -hmm. hanging out. So if you have questions, um, by all means, they're, they're, they're there to hang out and have fun. So That's <sighs> something I really like at Epic before I... Before I join something like in November, December, I begin to think about if if this if I fit and if if, if this is a job that I'm I'm uh, I fit in. Uh, I'm always interested that this is a company where I, you know, where where you have the same kind of vibe you you, you prefer, and Epic is so open and, and nice um, that this was easy for me. And this is it reflects also on the talks. So Stuart was preparing his ray tracing talk and he's using the train which is on the marketplace free and from the guy who's actually at the show so it's like everything together and everybody's open and collaborating and this is something i really enjoy and that's something that this is the first time G i'm going to gdc with a big company again so last time was ubisoft years 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 ago mm -hmm. uh, and uh, i must say i'm really really excited to see all the folks and have this vibe which i already <laughs> saw the first two months uh, yeah. on site that's awesome. No, yeah. Um, so we actually had somebody asking about what the um, the primary role of an evangelist is outside of GDC, and so maybe you can get into it a little bit. But ultimately, your team's going out and helping developers. So sometimes it's doing visiting studios and giving them advice technically on how to improve or um, fix aspects of their game. Sometimes it's letting our teams know like hey this is a really rad team and we want to help promote you um you want to talk about yeah. what it means to yeah. be an evangelist For example, to you? Christoph, one reason christoph is not going he's just had an extensive two week tour through poland and he visited a lot of studios so some of the studios we knew already uh, that were already using Unreal, some who wanted to know more about it. And it's uh, for us, it's really going into the teams and seeing what are the challenges, um, what is the stuff um, they are really needing. So we are a little bit, we, we're trying to have onboarding, but also we're helping to, to finish projects. So sometimes we got brought in from support um, to help with really specific things. So each of us has kind of specialities. So, um, uh, so we also he help each other out in, in different regions, but mainly for our region, we travel around, we give talks, uh, we, we meet people, we, we join the meetups as po if possible. Um, and then, then uh, speaking, <laughs> talking about uh, what's going on with Unreal Engine and the whole Epic uh, ecosystem. And at the other side, what you said already, we are a little bit the ears and eyes in the field. So. Um, either finding cool stuff and bring them in, but also if people have constantly problems with the engines on certain points, we can highlight them in the in the uh, development team and say, okay, this is really an issue here. Um, 
So um, we try to make this a personal thing and not just like you log in, in some account and give some feedback. It's more like um, we have uh, there are faces out, real people with real experience who can help. Yeah. So it's great. We have <laughs> we have the best trip in the world. <laughs> we travel around, nice, meet nice people, yeah. see really creative stuff, and and try to help. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Um, these guys are your resource out in the field, and definitely, as as UE four developers, make sure you're connecting with our evangelists and and taking advantage of their expertise and all the the resources that they can help you provide. Um, we actually have someone in chat talking about hiring. Uh, I don't know roles specifically that I know we have loads of positions open here at Epic, and part of that is at the the booth. So we have it's our games, jobs, beer booth. So not only are we celebrating all the incredible developers that will be there, uh, there will be recruiting elements and uh, and beer and beer and beer. So yep, yeah. So if if you have questions. Um, you come by, you know, chat with anybody. But mm -hmm. if you want to talk to to people about what, you know, what opportunities are available, I do. Like I said, I, I know they're recruiting, and some of our team will be out there. I just don't know what their schedule looks like. So um, don't discourage, don't get discouraged we if you don't have the opportunity. We can point you but, in the right direction. Right, but we we yeah, we can definitely at least uh, point you in the right direction, as Amanda said. So yeah. Um, and by the way, the state of I don't know if you have said that, but as far as I know, the state of Unreal and all the talks um, that are done. Uh, in the theater are also streamed, right? Uh, all of the theater, all the theater talks on Wednesday, basically starting at 9 a.m. or 9.30 a.m. Pacific on Wednesday morning until we're done at the end of the day, and I think that's like 6.30 Pacific. Uh, we will be live on Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube. Uh, so if you can't join because us Because I remember, theater, I think last year the line was pretty long. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, somebody mentioned that uh, that the line was going down the road uh, and around the block last year for it. So, so if you don't make it into the theater, uh, you can watch it online on on those channels, or uh, you know we'll be, we'll be posting it after the show, and we'll, so some of that content will be available after the show, uh, and we'll be talking about more of that next week. Mm -hmm. uh, but definitely tune in. Make sure you follow us on social media uh, to stay up to date as to when when those things are going live. Because I'll be I'll be at the theater. Uh, making sure that they're the everyone's up to date on what we're doing, and so yeah, it, it's Wednesday is going to be the day. Wednesday is like Wednesday is like the the precipice of this, like where everything just all the things all the things out. It's the, it's the somebody called it the big game. So <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. like so it'll be fun. Yeah. Um, um, I think we get to sleep at some point during the show or after. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So do when do you arrive? Um, we'll be arriving early next week, yeah. so uh, we'll be getting in, doing things, and we have we have some meetings and stuff that we'll be we'll be taking care of, and meeting with some of the awesome partners, like some of the people we've worked with with our with our game jams, some of the partners that we mm -hmm. interact with. So it'll be a really cool opportunity for us to to be able to ex expand and, and grow some of the programs that we work on from a community perspective, uh, and find new ways to to bring cool things out to the community. Um, so yeah, it's it's going to be super fun. I think there's just going to be so much to do, and the unfortunate thing is, is it's only next week. Like I feel like I'm going to want once I get done with GDC, I'm going to be like, man, we should just go do that again. Like, <laughs> let's bring all these people together. No, no, again no. I celebrate. think the week after you are just happy to sleep, and then the week <laughs> after that you have you have this this typical conference hangover, and the week after that you want to do it again. Yeah. Maybe that's the order of operations. But <laughs> hopefully nobody gets sick. So if you are going out to GDC, make sure you you know. Be be conscientious. Wash your, do all the do all the healthy things and be mm -hmm. hygienic because nobody wants the the GDC oh, yes. crud. The plague. Yeah, yeah. Con crud. Yeah, Con don't crud. get that. Uh, Drink enough. Yes. Drink enough water. 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 Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> well, what are our options? Here? <laughs> beer is an option. And yeah. Don't water. party too hard. Yeah, so. do come by if you're I, at. Uh, we do have T-shirts. Somebody's asking about swag. We'll have those. Uh, we'll also have. Other things. Other, I don't know if we've said that. Uh, well, uh, have we? No. no. Come by. Other things. Come see us Come at the booth. Us. It'll be awesome. Um, again, uh, we've been over this a little bit, but uh, everything Wednesday will be live streamed, and the majority of that content will be posted ASAP. 
Yeah. And then uh, the learning theater talks will come out as we've had time to edit right. those and cut those down. So. Yeah, there's a, there's just a lot there's a lot of content coming out next mm -hmm. week. So uh, make sure you're subscribed to to all the things, all the channels, our RSS feed or whatever it may be. Um, oh man, oh man, it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty. I'm I'm gonna say it. It's gonna be pretty epic. Uh, <laughs> I'm not I'm not sorry for that. It wasn't really a pun, but it's <laughs> it's, it's gonna be fantastic. So, um, and I know that we're we're super excited to have you know all of the evangelists and all of the the, the folks who are joining us from the community and all of the amazing projects that are, are going to be uh, shown off uh, and hanging out with us in that booth. Uh, it's, it's just going to be a heck of a time. So, um, yeah, and it's San Francisco. I hope the weather's nice at least. I don't know. If, I don't know. Oh, do you know where the weather is? I, I don't know. I haven't looked yet, but I, we'll be inside most of the time, so it's not going to really matter. But, you know, epic, not pun. Yeah, you're right. So, But if you guys have any questions about anything, uh, please, you know, drop those questions. There is a question. Does any idea on how many UE4 developers are there around the world? I think all of the UE4 developers are around the world. Like all, there isn't any developers that aren't on Earth, right? I think all That's of them. Not he's getting. No, wow. <laughs> I'm not sure of an exact number. <laughs> oh, but. I will do evangelism on Mars, by the way. Okay. So 2030, well. evangelism Perfect. on Mars. There you go. Perfect. Cool. Well, finally, I found a way to get on Elon Musk's. <laughs> There you go. There you go. <laughs> um, doesn't look like we have too many more questions for the show specifically. Um, definitely keeping an eye out next week for all the, the cool features and announces. And, um, yeah, we'll be excited to see you. There is no stream next week as we're going to be at the show and hope that you all are ingesting all the amazing content coming out next week. We didn't want to interrupt any of that. And then we will be back with Victor yeah. in a couple the weeks. Following week is, yeah. So I hope to see everybody. Yeah. I think it's going to be awesome. Uh, if you are going out to GDC, travel safe. Come find us. And shoot us a message on yeah. Twitter. Let us know you'll be at the show. We can try to uh, touch base. Obviously, finding us at the booth is the easiest way to right. know where we're all at. And uh, all that. All yeah. that good stuff. All the amazing stuff. All of it. Make sure you follow us on social media. And if you can't be at the show, we've said it 14 times, I'll say it again. <laughs> uh, we'll be streaming all day Wednesday, so any of the any of the talks that are happening at Yerba Buena Center for the Arts, I think is the full name of it, uh, will be on all of our either twitch.tv slash Unreal Engine, our Facebook page, or our YouTube page. So you can tune in, uh, join, the, join the chat, hang out with us. Um, I will try, time permitting, to, to hang out and chat during the, the day. Uh, but we look forward to seeing you guys. And if you are out of the show, come find us. If you are there, take pictures, tag us in it. You know, we'd love to love to see yeah. what you guys are seeing and what, what the experience for everybody else is like uh, at GDC. Oh so, yeah, uh, yeah, definitely we use that. Uh, follow... Go ahead. We always follow the good tags to see good games. So sometimes we miss something, and it's always cool if someone's pointing us in the right direction. Um, yeah. So... Right. If, yeah. Even if Looking you're not at the to show, see new cool games. but someone has a game that's there, definitely tag us, let us know. Right. That's the best way. You know, We'll be scouring the floor, but it's always great to have these helpful <laughs> social media hints where yeah. we're like, oh, tag us on UE4, we'll know. We yeah. try to look for who all is announcing and be like, hey. And if you see any really cool UE4 games on the floor that we might not have gotten to yet or maybe we already know about it, come tell us. That's what we we want to hear about all of the cool things that you see that are going around uh, GDC as well. So uh, it'll be a good time. Yep. Uh, I, and I don't think, I think we're... I think that's I think about that's it. it. Um, I've tossed our survey feedback. Um, we want to know what you want to see on these shows, what kind of topics. Obviously, a lot of the near future ones will be um, 422 features and things like that coming shortly. But intermittently yeah. Yeah. when we have gaps we want to know what you need to see what you're looking for if you toss your email address in there you will be entered in a raffle for a t-shirt so yeah. that is a thing yeah. you could receive good um always check for your local u4 meetups meetup.com slash pro slash unreal engine lots of cool Arse folks that are <laughs> um <laughs> always lots of cool folks at the events it's a great way to get support on your game ask questions network, find jobs. Um, 
I don't know. I always find meetup groups and things like that incredibly yep. invaluable. Um, Especially or you can start you're your, own. your own town, right? Yeah. Those are people that are local to you. So, I mean, friendships come out of that. And, you, you know, you, you just, be cool, cool things happen at meetups. Mm -hmm. so. uh, you want to talk about the spotlights and countdown? The spotlights and the countdown. So, uh, every week we spotlight uh, different projects during the news segment. So, uh, we love seeing what people are working yeah. on. It's probably one of the, my favorite parts of the stream and getting to celebrate some of the awesome work that's happening in the Unreal Engine community. So if you are working on anything cool and you want to share it with us, uh, tweet it to us at Unreal Engine. Drop it on uh, the forums under the uh, work in progress or release projects for a post. Drop it in Discord. Send me a postcard, whatever. Just let us know what you're working on because we love celebrating those kind of things with you guys. Uh, I take a look at the Screenshot Saturday posts all, we, all the time for those kind of things as well. And then every week we start our stream with a, a five-minute counter. Uh, and those five-minute counters for the past year or so have come from the, the community. So we love highlighting the projects that people are working on. So, so the ask here is if you're working on something and you want to see your project in the beginning of the, the stream, send us uh, a 30-minute video, an hour video compressed into five minutes of some sort of speed development that you're doing. Share that to us at community at unrealengine.com. Include a, a uh, logo a short description of your project and just some information so uh and you might see your project here on on the live streams mm -hmm. yeah it's really cool it's just yeah. it's awesome watching all of the, the the people come together and then um th when those little micro communities see that the project that they've been following show up on the stream you see you just see those people celebrate and it's it's, it's super wonderful. humbling to see yeah. and to be able to, to celebrate with you guys so thank you guys for giving us that opportunity uh and that's it i think yeah. was that it so yeah that's that our wrap? that's our show um, <laughs> we hope we'll see a number of you next week, and if not, we'll see you in two weeks back here at HQ. Uh, and thanks for joining us. We'll yeah. see you all in a couple weeks. Thank you so much, Andreas, for tuning in, calling in all the way from Germany, despite getting stuck in the internet. Yeah, <laughs> snowstorm of the internet. Yep. Yeah. All right, take all care, right, everyone, see and we'll see soon. you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.